this is Mackenzie with Heidi's Lifestyle Gardens and today I'm going to show you how to install your spring annual containers. First we're going to get started by grabbing our center thriller which will be your biggest plant uh, which will be set in the middle. We'll be doing the entire layout to get started and from there we will move on to the plant. So I'll put this in the middle. Grab my next two fillers which are the middle size planting material put them in their places. which are the shortest plants that will trail over the edge of the planter. Leave everything in their container right now, and if it looks like they aren't going to fit, they will once we take them out. Rearrange anything that you need to rearrange, and make sure that it's all looking like you want it to. The next step is going to be to take all of these and set them down in their pattern so we can get the soil ready for planting. Once they're all down, we can look at our soil level and know that the root balls are going to take up a lot of this space, so we don't need this much soil in the container. We'll have your bucket nearby to put the soil into. We'll want to make sure that there's a couple inches between the top of the soil level and the lip of the planter when we're done, so that watering is easy and we don't make a mess. Now we'll start by replacing our pattern, starting with the center thriller again. This time, remove it from its pot very carefully. You might want to do it over your bucket because it will be messy. And place it in the center making sure that top level isn't too high up in your planter. Smooth the soil around it. And start placing the rest of your spring in. This is the time where, as you're removing them from the containers, you can remove some of the soil or root mass or squish it in order to make it fit better in your container. to remove too much of any root mass in there as the roots are the most important part in making sure the plant looks good for a long life and a long season. Once everything is in its place and facing the direction you want it to, we will go ahead and backfill with some of the soil we removed at the beginning. We probably won't need everything that we removed, but just enough to fill it in and pack it tight around the root balls so they don't dry out super quickly. And again, 
as you fill the planter, you want to make sure that you don't go up to the very top. You want to leave an inch or two along the edge so it can hold the water um, and not make a mess with the water. And now once you've got your plants in place and the soil packed around them, you're ready to start adding accents. The first accent we'll add are our sticks, which I've got green curly willow here. ahead and adjust the sticks as you need. Um, we recommend putting your sticks towards the center of the planter for a nice bold mass effect. If you have several types of stick in your planter, bunch them in light bundles um, to be more bold or you can mix the colors for a more colorful and airy look to your planter. It's up to you. Uh, they can be arranged many different ways. The last element we add to our planters is the moss, which serves to just hide the soil that you can see right now before the plants are filled in enough to cover all of the soil. Careful not to cover up the bulbs in the center too much because they still need the sunlight to grow efficiently. And once you're done placing your moss, then you're ready to clean up. We recommend sweeping or blowing your area before watering so the mess is easier to clean up. And once you have your area clean, water in really well by filling up to the edge of the planter rim three times and letting it drain through. Due to the chilly weather that we have right now, these don't need to be watered as often as your summer annuals do. So you're good to just check on them, um, depending on how much rain we get, every few days or week, just to make sure that they're not drying out. It's better to give them deep, infrequent waterings than watering a little bit here and there every day. And once they're watered in, you are ready to enjoy your spring containers for the rest of the spring.